it's Annie and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share my empties. These are products that I've used up. I love watching these videos because I feel like it's a good indication to what someone is using. If they really love it, they use it all up. Or, and I also like to know, are you going to repurchase it? Did you use it all up and then you don't want to use it again kind of thing. So that's what I'm going to share today. And some of these you may have seen with the Sephora sale, but I kept some of the things that I shared and kind of grouped them all together to share more um, because I want to have enough to show you, you know what I mean? So most of it's all skincare, um, but yeah, that's what we're going to talk about today. Before we get started, make sure that you click that button below, hit subscribe, and also click on that bell because anytime I have a new video, you'll be notified and I have a video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, okay? And I also have a second channel too and I'll link that below. Everything that I'm gonna share, I'm gonna link below. So make sure that you always check on the show more. Click on that and everything that I'm wearing in the video, everything that I share in the video, I'm sharing, okay? All right, really quickly, I hurt my back. This wasn't the video I was gonna share today. I don't know if it seems like I'm a little off today, so if it seems like I'm off, I am. My back is freaking killing me. My daughter's having a sale next week. I was helping her out, so I was squatting down on the ground, and all of a sudden it was like, bam, I could feel my, my back go out. So when I walk, I feel like I look like I'm holding in a fart. That's what I look like. I had a migraine this morning on top of it, so I laid down for a little while. I feel better. I just wasn't into sharing a bit, like a tutorial or anything today. Just not feeling well today. So let's get into this, all right? Um, let's do this one because I've had a lot of people ask me about this. So the Pixie Double Cleanse. I love this Pixie Double Cleanse. And what it is is one side is the balm and the other side is a cream. So you use the balm first, takes your makeup off, um, you, you just use a little bit, you massage it into your face. Then I take one of my microfiber washcloths, I wipe it off, wash, you know, get all that off. Then I go in with my cream cleanser, I massage that in, I use my Clarisonic, and then I wash that off, okay? Really good to do a double cleanse because you're really making sure that you get all of that makeup and everything off of your face. I really love this. It's $24. I did repurchase it. Okay, so I bought it, I repurchased it. I don't think I'm gonna repurchase it again, and here's why. Even though I'm not using a lot of it, I feel like I'm going through it really fast, and for $24, I think it's kind of expensive, okay? I love it, it doesn't burn my eyes. I love the balm, it does not burn my eyes. It doesn't have a fragrance in it that I could smell. See, if... I mean, there's no fragrance smell. It smells like, you know, everything has a smell to it, um, there's nothing left, but it's like I was just smelling the empty container. I really, really love this. I wish instead of having it together that they would have separated it and had like the cream in one, maybe even in a pump because you're sticking your fingers in. Although my hands are clean um, when I'm washing my face off. I always wash my hands before I start cleaning my face off. But I just wish they would do it separately because I go through it so fast and I don't use a lot. I use very little, but I feel like I go through it too fast. So I did repurchase this, but I won't repurchase it again just because I don't, it's just not lasting long enough on me and $24 is kind of expensive when I'm going through it. I don't even think I get through a whole month. I probably go through this in about three weeks, two and a half, three weeks. Yeah, I think that's kind of expensive, you know? So I won't be repurchasing it. I actually bought, I don't have in front of me, I did buy another Pixie um, Balm to remove my makeup. I haven't tried it yet. I don't like it already because when I open it up, it has a fragrance to it. I really wish they didn't put a fragrance in it. And I didn't have my glasses on when I was purchasing it, so I didn't see that listed. So um, I will keep you updated and posted on that. But I do really like this. I just, for me, I wouldn't repurchase it just because I think it's, for what you get, it's really expensive. And I'm, as little as I'm using, I'm going through it too much, so too fast. Now, this is almost empty, and I am going to share this because I really love it. And I recently shared my morning uh, makeup or cleansing routine, not my makeup routine, my cleansing, face cleansing routine for anti-aging. I shared that recently. I will link that above, so if you see that, click on it. 
you can watch the video and then you can come right back here and finish watching this, okay? And I will be updating you and sharing you my nighttime routine. I'm hopefully going to film that tomorrow. I filmed it, but the lighting was off, so I want to refilm it, okay? Um, this is almost empty, so I'm going to show you. This is the Pixie Glow Tonic, and it has a 5% glycolic acid aloe vera and ginseng. I really, really love this. I use it morning and night, so after I cleanse my face, this is what I, this is my next step. I really, really love it. And I have already repurchased another one because I'm almost out and I don't want to go without it. So I've already purchased, uh, repurchased another one. Um, beauty blenders. I love my beauty blenders. And to clean them, I, I use the soap that it comes with. I know there's probably other soaps I probably don't have to use, but I really do like the soap. Let me, let me talk, I'll talk about this one first. Okay, so this is the, um, bar soap. It's already gone. Okay, so it's a little white round bar soap. It comes with this little um, You can set the soap on here so it doesn't sit in all that moisture and get all icky. You know how Ivory soap is and by the way, I wonder if it's the same as ivory soap. I don't know. Okay, but I like the container comes in and this is why I like to use this to travel so I just purchased another one. So when we're traveling this summer, I like using this for traveling. So I love this for for at home for my um, for my beauty blender and for my brushes. Yeah, uh, I use it for both. But um, I also, like I said, I like this for traveling. So I definitely I've re repurchased one. So I definitely recommend that one. I like that's got the little lid on it. It's just so nice and compact. I love it. I do have the liquid and that is like, it is gone, it's emptied. I love this one. Again, I like using this for my beauty blender and I also like using it to clean my brushes. So I really, really, really like this one a lot. I don't find it to be too harsh for my brushes or anything like that. I don't find it dries them out or anything. I really like this for, like I said, my beauty blender and my brushes. This is something that I mentioned before, but I'm probably gonna mention all the time because I think it's an amazing, hand cream. My hands used to be so bad, especially when I was a hairdresser, and I wish I knew about this years ago because my hands would have been saved, okay? So this is the Norwegian Formula uh, Hand Cream by Neutrogena. Best hand cream ever. This is drugstore. I think it's five, I don't know, five something at, at our Walgreens. So it's under six bucks. You use a little bit. I use this every single night. Before I go to bed, I put this on my hands. In the winter time, sometimes I'll put it on in the morning and then at night time, but I'm telling you, my hands have never felt so good in years. I've gotten through since, I think it was like two years ago or something, my hands were so dry and cracked. I mean, they hurt to wash my hands. They were so cracked. And then I, then they were getting itchy and I had bumps on them. So my dermatologist gave me a steroid medicine to clear that up, and then I started using this, and I have not had a problem with my hands since then. Best hand lotion ever. You have to get this. So if you have dry hands, I'm telling you, you're going to love this. So love it. Um, this I shared, um, but I'm going to share it again. I used it all up. I actually just ordered another one. This is the... Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer in Light. It's oil-free. I love this primer. Now, I am going to be trying some other primers because I've had people ask me, you know, to share other primers, so I am going to do that. Just have to remember that I don't have companies sending me products. I don't. Um, I pay for everything myself, so that's why I really, really appreciate when anybody, you know, I always leave um, the links for everything below. They're all affiliates and I disclose that and I really appreciate it when anybody purchases anything because all anything that I make goes back into my channel so I can keep purchasing things because it gets expensive. I mean, I don't really have to buy five different foundations or 10 different eye colors or whatever, but I do it because I want to share it with you guys. So just want to share that with you. Okay, so I am going to be sharing some other primers. This primer, I really, really love, totally recommend it. I don't know how it would be on dry skin, but definitely great for oily skin. Keeps my makeup on, doesn't feel sticky or anything. It blends, you know, it, you, I put use a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. This looks like a small container, but this lasted me months. Okay, so I probably use the size of a pea, 
put it in, you know, on my hands and I massage it in on my face and I love it. I love this primer. I really do. I feel like it helps keep my makeup on and prevents it from sliding around and I just love it. But I am going to be sharing some other primers, so stay tuned. So that I, I did repurchase. Uh, a face cleanser that I had in my I had in my shopping cart I actually took it out, um, and I was planning on purchasing this at the um, Sephora sale. The reason that I didn't is because at the last minute I'm like I think I'm going to try something different, so I did, and I shared the the um, the new cleanser that I use on my face. If you watch my my morning routine, you'll see that. So this one I didn't repurchase, and this is the uh, First Aid Beauty Fab Pure Skin Face Cleanser. I really like this face cleanser, but I didn't repurchase it. I just wanted to do something different. I would repurchase this again. I totally would repurchase it again, but I didn't repurchase it this time. I went with the other cleanser instead for a change, okay? But I, I love it. I used it all up. I love it. This foot cream is amazing now this is another drugstore um, every night I put cream on my hands and my feet like that's the last thing I do before I get in the bed seriously I mean I don't know if you're like me but I'm like lotioned all the way up my body's lotioned up my face my hands my feet like everything so I, I was using my Norwegian hand formula for my feet which I liked um, but I felt like I was going through that too much because I was using it on my feet too and I felt like I needed something a little thicker so I started using this um, Gold Bond Premium, it's a no, sorry, Gold Bond Ultimate Healing Foot Cream. It says it's dry, rough, and cracked heels. And it has aloe in it, penetrates fast, non greasy, and I love it. I'm trying to think if it says anything else in here. Um, it has a little bit of alcohol in it, but, and I try to stay away from alcohol. But I love this foot cream. I, I like the consistency because it's a nice thick cream. I think I need that on my feet to, to stay nice. I do get pedicures every four to five weeks. I get a pedicure. I've been doing that for years just because I cannot see what I'm doing. Um, I just can't. Um, so I do that as just part of my maintenance. <laughs> That's how I feel. So this just helps keep my, so in between getting my pedicures, this just helps keep my feet looking and feeling really good and you can see like I squeezed the whole bottle out so I bought this at Walgreens totally recommend it I bought another one and yeah love it um this okay Meiku raw sauce this is a humectrant and it has organic grain extract natural moisturizing factor it says on here and it is maple water so what this does is it just helps add moisture to your face. It helps lock the moisture into your face. I do really like this. I did repurchase it. I stopped using it and then I started using it again. My skin has been really dry. So um, I don't know if it got a little drier because I stopped using this, but I started using it again. So when I'm doing my routine of cleansing my face, I, and I just added this since I shared it in the, um, in my last video, okay? So, I know my routine's always changing all the time. That's why I update it, and I'll eventually, I'll update it again if I, as I add different things, I'll update it. But I only use this in the morning, and I cleanse my face, I tone my face, and then I use this, all right? So, I do like this. I would recommend it. I just get the small one, and honestly, this lasts. You use very, very little. I just unscrew the cap. I don't like the smell of it. I will tell you that. It smells like cheap hairspray. That's what it smells like. I don't like the smell of it. I don't know why they had to put a fragrance in it. But I just put a little bit on my fingers, and then I just massage it in. That's what I do. I don't use a cotton because I feel like it absorbs too much of the cotton. I feel like I waste it. So I just put it on my hand and just rub it in. Make sure it gets all, like I kind of fan my face so it dries out. And then I continue on with the rest of my skincare regimen. This I love so much. This is the Drunk Elephant C Firma day serum vitamin c firma uh, vitamin c hello not firma it is c firma it's vitamin c serum i can't speak today probably because i'm feeling off today um but i love this vitamin c 
this lasted me this is expensive it's eighty dollars i think it's eighty um and it's how many ounces in here does it say how many ounces it's it's one ounces and it's eighty dollars i know you only need one pump put it on my face I actually started using a little bit on my hands too like not even a pump i just rub it on my hands okay back my hands because I was looking at my hand the other day and I was like, holy crap, I'm getting like an age spot on my hand or a freckle or whatever on my hand. So I'm going to be more vigilant about using my vitamin C on my hands. I wish I could put this on my whole body. Um, I love this. I love it. I love the packaging on it too, that you just twist it, you pump it. One pump is all you need. This lasted me six months, so I don't think that it's overpriced that because it lasts me six months, I like that you, you do that, you pump it. So I feel like it's not getting, um, once you open vitamin C, like I see a lot of vitamin C and droppers and what I've been told by many people that are experts that once you open that vitamin C, once it expo it's exposed to air, it starts to break down. So that's why I really like this. I think it's definitely worth the money. It plumps your skin. Um, it brightens your skin. It helps with any uh, hyperpigmentation and, you know, sunspots, whatever. You know what I mean? So I love this. I love it. I love it. And I did repurchase it because I really do love it. I haven't found another vitamin C that I want to try. Well, that's not true. I did find another vitamin C that I'm going to be trying. I didn't try it yet. So that was a lie I just told you. But I forgot. In my defense, I forgot that I had it. So I will be using another vitamin C soon. So I'll keep you posted. I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not, but I'll let you know when I start using it, okay? All right, something else that I, let's stick with skincare actually. Let me finish skincare and then I have sort of makeup, sort of. I bought a, a kit a while ago, which had Luna in it from um, Sunday Riley and it also had good jeans. I really love using Good Jeans. So Good Jeans is a lactic acid. It's a chemical exfoliant. Chemical exfoliants are so much better on your skin than using something that's, which I didn't know because I was, what I, you know, for a long time my skin, now my skin's sort of dry right now because I'm doing Retin-A and I'm in the early stages of it. Um, but I was like having problems with my skin, like, like like getting a dry skin at times and so I would use a granulated um exfoliator and I would like my skin would get even drier and I think what am I doing wrong am I using it too much overusing it I didn't think I was overusing it so what I've been so, so what I've been told is that using those granulated exfoliators is not good for your skin because it's just too harsh for your skin and probably also for me too since I have sensitive skin. So I really like Good Jeans from Sunday Riley. Now these are the smaller ones. I actually ordered the large one and I'm still using it. It's very expensive. I think it's 150 for the large one. I know, I know. But I use like a half a pump and I just dab it on my face and massage it in every day. It makes a huge difference. Even though my skin is still a little dry, I feel like it's it's better than it would be if I hadn't been using it, okay? So I'm still using this. I went through two of the little ones because I got two kits and definitely would recommend it. So I, one of my favorite creams and it's very affordable. I'm trying to think what it is. I don't know, I'll put all the information below because off the top of my head I can't remember what the price is. But I have gone through so many of these belief creams. They're emptied, I have two of them. So these are the moisture bombs. I love these. And I also have gotten the aqua bomb. So the aqua bomb is a little bit lighter if you like if you like Clinique's moisture surge, then you're gonna like the Aqua Bomb because to me it's very very similar, same texture and I feel like it does the same thing. Now, I don't know what the ingredients are compared, so I can't. I'm not saying that, but I've used Moisture Surge and I've used this. This is much cheaper than Moisture Surge and I feel like it does the same thing. The Aqua Bomb, really really nice. You can use it at nighttime, so if you don't have really dry skin but you want to put a moisturizer on for at nighttime, this is great. Um, if you want to put something on under your makeup, this is really good because it's not too heavy. I really like this one. The Moisture Bomb is a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier, not really heavy. It still has some 
you know, it's not really, really thick, but it is thicker compared to the Aquabomb. So I use this one at night and I use that along with another moisturizer and you'll see my video soon on that. But I love this. I've gone through several of these. I already reordered another one of this. I need to reorder another one of these. I really, really like this. So definitely would recommend it. Let's talk about lashes. Um, lash glue and I bought so many more of these again and again and again and again. This is the this is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe in clear. So it goes on, when it comes out, it's white, but then it dries clear. I love this. I feel like it's, it, I feel like it, my lashes adhere really well, so they're not popping off or anything. And I, and I love the fact that it is a brush and you just brush it on. I love it. I think this is like $5, so I feel like it's really affordable. I just get it at Walgreens, um... I don't know where else where else they sell kiss but i'll put the link below for it but i really do like this totally recommend this lash adhesive i purchase it and repurchase it over and over and over again one of my i'm wearing kiss lashes right now i love those another brand of lashes that i really like is by ilor and it's the 117 i don't can't see what they look like here but they're similar to the lashes that i'm wearing where they're shorter here and they kind of flare out at the on the ends here. I like that because I feel like it lifts my eyes up, especially since I have hooded eyes. I like my eyes to get to get lifted, not only with my makeup, but with my um, eyelashes. Totally would recommend this. That is it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and um, I'll make sure that I leave everything that I shared in this video in the links below. And that is it. Make sure that you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I'll leave all the links below. Subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much, and I'm so thankful for you that you are, you watch this, but hopefully you watch it to the end. I hope that you did. I hope you enjoyed my videos. Always enjoy our time together. Thank you so much, and I will see you soon. Bye.